Hi there, Barnes and Noblers. Uh, I'm so honored to be here for National Story Time. Uh, my name is Yorma Taconi. I am a part of a group called the Lonely Islands Comedy Group, and I wrote a children's book called Little Fox and the Wild Imagination. And it's about a little fox and his adventures through his incredible imagination and his dad, who kind of goes along for the ride. Um, anyway, I'm very excited about it, and I'm going to be reading it for you today with a special guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. My name is Wiley, and I'm five, and hi, and this is my dad, and I'm a kid. And he's a kid. Um, so we're going to read it for you right now, and I hope you enjoy it. When Papa Fox showed up after school, he was surprised to find Little Fox in a bad mood. Hey, kiddo, how was school? asked Papa Fox. <laughs> said Little Fox. I fell off the slide today and a big kid laughed at me, said Little Fox. I don't want to go to school ever again. Hmm, that's rough, Papa Fox said as he tried to think of something to cheer up Little Fox. Hey, how about we play pretend, Papa Fox asked, <laughs> said Little Fox again. You're right, no pretending, said Papa Fox as he took off running and let's definitely not transform into race cars. Wait for me! Ooh, yeah. You feeling better now? Asked Papa Fox. A little bit. Just a little, said Papa Fox. Well, that's too bad. You know what's also too bad? Dinosaurs don't fit on buses! <laughs> As they got off the bus, Little Fox spotted their next adventure. Papa, can we get a special treat? Roger that, partner. Set coordinates for planet ice cream. Yay! I feel great now, Papa. Mission accomplished, Houston. We have one happy kid, and we are headed home to make dinner. Things were going great, but at dinner, their game of pretend took a turn. Oh, you should pretend you're a giant and eat this whole broccoli forest, said Papa Fox. Wouldn't that be funny? No! Said Little Fox. Let's pretend I'm a robot squid that bashes trees with my tentacles. Suddenly, Papa Fox regretted their trip to Planet Ice Cream. Robot squid activated, destroy all trees. Okay, stop pretending. We're making a mess. Bath time. It's, it's bath time. Once they were in the bath, Papa Fox made another big mistake. Time to wash your hair, kiddo. No! Cried Little Fox. We washed hair last night. More pretending, you scurry bad guy. No, no, no. Wait, wait, said Papa Fox. But it was too late. Now I will put you in a milk truck and throw you in the ocean, and the shark will eat you all gone. What? Why? Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, okay. You want to you wanna just get back to reading the story? Can we just, can we just get back to it? No, Can we just, no, please? No. Can we just get right back to it? Okay. After wiping up the bathwater, Papa Fox noticed that Little Fox had disappeared. Hey, kiddo, where'd you go? Daddy, I'm here. Where are you? Ow! Don't worry, this magic wand will keep us safe in the dark. Oh, good. Will it also make you sleepy? Asked Papa Fox. No, we have to read these books first, whispered Little Fox. All 5,000 of them? Yes. At last, it was bedtime. Papa, can you pick me up from school again tomorrow? Asked Little Fox. Sure, said Papa Fox. You got it, kiddo. Good, because tomorrow will blast you off and rock and explode you into the sun, you scurry bad guy. I love you too, said Papa Fox. Okay, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks for supporting Barnes & Noble. And again, if you liked it, you know, please consider ordering the, a coffee. Uh, but no pressure. No pressure. Okay, what do you want to say? I'm five. My name is You already said all this. And I'm king of that. Okay. And I'm a king.